Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and I've got a new CB radio related video for you today. Today, we'll be discussing the differences between CB microphones. You can consider this to be everything you always wanted to know about CB microphones but didn't know who to ask. I'm the guy to ask, apparently. So, there are a lot of different types of CB radio microphones on the market. You're going to have your stock mics that come with the radio, and we'll get into those because there's several different styles. Then you have uh, your power mics, and then you have your noise canceling mics, and then you have your mics that have gadgets. And I've got examples of pretty much all those. Now there is one other type, you have your base station mic or your mobile mic, but in reality, those microphones are really the same internally. They just have a different way of setting themselves up. That would be a base station microphone. And, of course, that would be a mobile microphone. So, internally, these two are operate exactly the same. And bass mics are uh, available. I don't think there's any noise-canceling bass mics. There might be, but there's certainly power mics, uh, stock mics, and mics that have uh, bells and whistles, as we like to call it. So, let me get the camera over here a little closer. We'll go through the different styles, what the pros and cons of each of those are, and you'll be better informed when it comes time to buying or replacing your microphone. Okay? All right. So here we have uh, quite a collection of microphones, and they range pretty much covering every uh, everything that we've talked about. Uh, we've got a stock microphone here. We've got a power mic here. We've got a microphone that's a power mic with some gadgets, Echo and Roger Beep here. We've got a noise-canceling mic here, and we've got a stock mic that has some additional features, a channel up-down function here. And then uh, over here you see the base of a uh, base station model uh, microphone. Now... Again, all these are going to work. Every one of these is going to work. Now, I'm not going to cover different pin styles because you all have to just figure that out on your own. Some radios take four, some take five, some take six. And uh, they can be changed. Maybe in another video I'll show you how to swap one end for another. It's, it's kind of a... Well, it requires a soldering iron and a little bit of patience. I have a soldering iron. The patience... Eh. Anyway. So your first type of microphone is going to be your stock mic, and this is what's going to come with your radio. Generally speaking, manufacturers pair the radios up with the microphones, and they do a fairly good job with it. Uh, a lot of uh, high-end radios, or uh, your your yeah high-end radios, basically not not like two or three hundred dollars, but like hundred to hundred fifty dollar radios, are going to have a mic gain uh, adjustment on the radio. So that'll allow you to compensate for conditions. So if your stock mic is uh, you know, over modulating where your voice sounds blurry or, you know, kind of distorted, you can turn it down with the mic gain. Um, lesser end radios can be used with a stock mic just fine, but again, there's no modulation control, there's no gain control, so you're kind of stuck with what you got. So, for that reason, a lot of people move up to one of these three options, and each one has its pros and cons. Um, now, before I get into the, the add-ons, this would be the hardest type of microphone to replace. This is a, a stock mic, and not a very high-end one, from Radio Shack, but it has channel up-down features. Any mic you come across that has extra features like that, you're, I mean, I can't think of any aftermarket solution that's going to work for that. So, you're kind of you're kind of just stuck with what you got on that deal. So we'll just set that aside as well. But if you have one of those, that's, you're pretty well stuck with it. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does, you'll have to try to find a used replacement one. Okay, so that leaves us with these three. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Okay, so with these three, we have three things here. We have your power mic, we have your noise canceling mic, and we have a microphone that has some add-on features. Um, none of these are high-end microphones, okay? None of these cost more than 20 bucks. Uh, well, maybe back in the day these two did, but used nowadays you can get both those. I think I paid nine bucks for that. That was twenty, and that was like four dollars plus four dollars shipping. Surprisingly, it works pretty well. But let's go through the list. So let's talk about a power mic first. If you have a base station set up and uh, you're looking for an inexpensive way to boost your voice power, and and that's like like here's your static level, and you want your voice to be, of course, above that level. Uh, and if your radio has mic gain adjustment on it, that's great. If it doesn't, this can kind of compensate for that because it takes a battery that goes in the back here and it has a volume control up on top. i get that a little closer. So you can adjust the amount of gain that it puts out. But what it's doing is amplifying your voice. And so it helps you punch through the static because it makes your voice sound louder over the radio. Now there are some cons to this. If you don't 
have it tuned right, if you have this thing and you think, well, you know, if, if, if 6 is good, I'll just crank it up to 10. Again, it, it's going to have that sound like overmodulation. You're going to have this distortion, this kind of, you know, bleed over almost in your voice, and that's not going to do you any good. So you can have too much of a good thing, and that's why adjustments on these are, are important. So that is uh, good for a, a base station. If you're going to upgrade your stock mic to something else, a power mic is definitely a good way to do that. Also, if your radio does not have mic gain, this is a great way to compensate for that. It adds basically the mic gain features to the microphone itself. Uh, again, this was an eBay purchase. It was new, and I, it has a little light-up LED there. The battery's dead in this one, but uh, I don't, I, honestly, I think it was $4.99. you got to keep an eye out. Obviously, you can get the same mic for much more, but uh, keep an eye on it, and you can get these pretty cheap. We'll set that aside, and then we'll go to the next dial here, and uh, and I'll explain why this may or may not be a good option for your car. Okay, so the next dial up is this, and this is an old realistic, but it's actually a really nice one. Um, this is a realistic noise-canceling mic with a preamp. So it is a power mic. It does amplify your voice, and it does have the adjustment up here on top, just like the other one does to uh, to amplify your voice. But it also has another feature, and this is a feature that you would want to have in uh, cars or trucks, or certainly in an 18-wheeler. You get a lot of road noise, you get a lot of you know tire noise, stuff like that, engine noise in the background. So if I'm trying to talk to you and I key down, and my voice is competing with all the noises in the background of my cab or in my car, all those are also being amplified and sent out. So this microphone has circuitry in it that stops that that noise floor from getting in the way. So it filters out those really high and low signals. It filters out the rumbling of the tires and the engine noise, the whirring and all that stuff, and focuses just on your voice and amplifies that. So that is pretty much what folks usually put in their cars if they're going to upgrade the mic in their car. It's a good good addition. You can get, there's many, many name brands of these things. I, I don't know a lot of them off the top of my head, but a quick search on uh, eBay for noise-canceling CB mic will bring up a variety of them with uh, various features. And you can look on, on Google and see, you know, what reviews are for people. Some of these mics, obviously, if you spend a lot of money, you're going to get a, a better, clearer sounding audio. Uh, I've never really noticed that much of a difference uh, myself, but then again, I don't hear very well in the first place. So that's the second type of uh, power mic you'd want to look into. So if you're driving a truck for a living or if you have a car, uh, that's an older car or older truck that has a lot of interior cab noise, especially at highway speeds. A noise-canceling power mic is uh, is probably a really great way to go there. And then, of course, we got this little thing here, which is what I use on my base station, and uh, it's a power mic. It does have uh, volume control, uh, and it's preset. So you want to use this one with something that has uh, a mic gain switch. So this was also not a high-end mic. This came under. I think it's the Workman brand, but it came under a variety of different brands back in the day, none of which were extremely uh, sought after or well thought of, but it's held up well. They had some problems with reliability, but this particular one has lasted for years and years and years, so I'm quite happy with it. What sets this one apart is that it has what we call bells and whistles, and there's a variety of them you can get. This one happened to have the features that I wanted at the time. Uh, the first one being it has an echo. Uh, so if your radio doesn't have a built-in echo, and many radios built up until quite, uh, you know, let's say the last 10 years didn't come with echo. That was an add-on or was something only found on high-end radios. Well, with this, you can you can adjust the amount of echo. You can go with none or you can have a little bit or you can go crazy where no one can understand a word you're saying. So uh, back in, you know, the 90s, that was a really cool toy to have. Nowadays, I don't think I've used that echo function in, in a long, long time. But what I do like and what I do use is the Roger Beep. And uh, it's just a, a beep, like the, you hear on the Apollo missions. So when I key off and, and let off here, it's going to beep twice to let people know that uh, I, I logged off. So no one uses over and over and out anymore, but that's pretty much what a Roger beep is replacing. So if you can find one of these uh, for a base station unit and you want some extra features, there you go. Now there's a lot of other features. They have ones that have uh, uh, IC chips inside of it that can record a message. You know, these are, they call them gizmos or doodads or whatever, but so when you let off on the mic, uh, you know, it plays Daffy Duck or something like that. Who knows? So there's a lot of uh, these out here that have different features. And uh, that, that style you find a lot on base stations. Sometimes you find them in cars as well, but uh, mostly base station setups. And here's a picture uh, 
of some base station specific looking radio mics that have these features in them. Um, there's one here and here's another one here. They both have features similar to this handheld one here. And uh, that's it for handheld mics. Again, there's a, a dedicated uh, Aesthetic D104 uh, base mic and it offers no advantage over any of those handheld mics other than it's convenient to uh, to be able to have a base mic here and not have it you know, just laying on the table. So that's it. <laughs> All right, uh, let me uh, get the camera back over here and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, so that's it. You have just learned the different types of microphones, the pros and cons to each one of those microphones. And now you're hopefully ready to go out and make a decision when it comes time to replace your stock mic. For most applications, a stock mic is absolutely fine. If you happen to come across a power mic or a noise canceling mic, it's certainly worth picking up if the price is right. Uh, if you're going to upgrade, you know, there's your options. You know, if you're, if you're driving a truck for a living, you probably want something that's noise canceling so that your voice carries, but not all that background noise. If you're in a base station, but you have a, a radio that doesn't have mic gain switch or just as a, you know, a lower end radio, and there's nothing wrong with those. They can sound just as good as anything that's high end. A power mic is certainly uh, a good add-on to help get your voice across well. And, uh, you know, your doodad mic, your funny mics that have add-ons like a Roger Beep, Echo, uh, pre-recorded messages. Some of those things are kind of in the gray or in the red area of the FCC, so uh, I don't recommend you go out there and harass people with something like that. But you'll probably hear them if you're listening in on the radio long enough. Somebody will have something where he keys off and it's, you know, uh, the rabbit laughing or, gosh, there's so many of these little clips that I heard over the years, but I've never really been into that. Another thing to keep in mind with that is uh, you can have a regular mic, and I believe there's like a device, and I've never seen one uh, at, at a yard sale or ever picked one up, but a device that has different sounds built into it that goes in line between your radio and your mic that also you know has those functions, so that's a little add-on you can also purchase, but that's it. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, stick around, because spring is coming. As you can tell, you'll probably see my uh, breath here. It's cold, but uh, spring is coming, more videos are coming, and the best is always yet to come. Take care.